Hi everyone, um, Tony here again and I'm going to show you a delicious low carb, low sugar, no wheat, gluten free, actually no sugar, um, bread substitute using almond flour, coconut flour, some baking powder, a little bit of salt. And this recipe is very versatile because you can do a lot of things with it. We've made French toast with it. We've added sweetener and flavorings and, and used it for different kinds of desserts and everything. So it's a really great recipe. It's very simple to make. Again, it's gluten-free, so anyone with celiac disease or following a low-gluten low or a gluten-free diet can definitely make this. And it's so simple. It takes 90 seconds in the microwave, and the, recipes, the recipe is very simple. So it's one t uh, tablespoon of coconut flour, one tablespoon of coconut flour, three tablespoons of almond flour, and the almond flour, you want to get the, the fine, the super fine almond flour. The baking powder is a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a sprinkling of salt. Inside we already have a tablespoon of melted butter. Now I'm just going to add one egg. To that and you mix this in the exact container that you're going to bake it in get the sides it's not going to be it's going to come right out as soon as it's done baking it just comes right out of the container um, mix all real good make sure you get the uh, the edges of it okay and this is surprisingly tasty um, when I originally made this when I found this recipe and made it. It didn't call for coconut flour. Um, it just used the almond flour and it was a little too eggy for my taste and I didn't care for the uh, uh, for the texture of it. It was a little too grainy for my taste but uh, after I experimented with it and added the coconut flour it seemed to get rid of the eggy taste and it kind of evened out the texture a little bit. So again take a look it's in the container that I'm going to bake it in the microwave. Just smooth it out. And Mike likes to use this shape, right Mike? Yeah, because then it's like a big slice of because bread. Because then it's like a slice of bread, exactly. And it fits in the toaster. <laughs> and it fits in the toaster. And surprisingly enough, this makes great sandwiches too. So it's all done in the container. So we're going to put it in the microwave. 90 seconds, that's it. And here's one already done. Okay. So what I want to show you here is uh, another thing. I made this in this little um, ramekin. I believe this is a 10 ounce ramekin. And the reason why I like it is because it's the round shape. So this is how this one comes out. It comes right out. Okay, it's still warm. And it's a great little bread. You can cut it in half and use it for a burger bun. That's just like bread, okay? Very, it's no different than bread actually, and it's very tasty. You can use that for sandwiches, as a burger bun. You can toast it. Like I said, we've used this as uh, made French toast with it. Makes delicious um, for like a strawberry shortcake type thing. Delicious with strawberries and all that. You can add the non-sweetener to it. Um, we use Swerve which comes in the uh, confectioners the confectioners <clears throat> and regular granulated so these are great this is uh, it does not register on your insulin it does not raise your blood sugars it's a wonderful sugar replacement and it's all natural it's all na it's a great thing so again great little bun low low uh, uh, low in sugar low fat uh, I'm sorry, high fat, and it's easy to make. You can just make it in 90 seconds. The microwave just went off. In the morning, I like to put a little sweetener and vanilla in it, and then it comes out like a pancake, which is absolutely delicious with sugar-free maple syrup. On it. Okay, now this is the the uh, the one we just made. Look at that. Looks just like a slice of bread. No dough. Pop it in the toaster. Pop it right in the toaster and toast away. So it's it's a great little recipe. So again. 
To recap that, it's one tablespoon of coconut flour, three tablespoons of almond flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a sprinkling of salt, an egg, a tablespoon of melted butter or olive oil, and then 90 seconds in the microwave, and you're all set. A great alternative to bread. Absolutely gluten-free. Um, and another thing I'd like to point out is recently I had to have some blood work done and there's a lot of misconception and misinformation about low carb diets. Uh, I was recently seen by a doctor a couple of days ago and she told me that I needed to get off the diet right away because it was bad for my kidneys and I wouldn't be able to sustain it. Well, up to now I've lost approximately 87 pounds. I feel great. My blood pressure medications actually have to be adjusted now because my blood pressure has been running too low and it's been affecting me. So my blood pressure meds are being adjusted. While I was had my blood work done uh, this past week, everything came out absolutely perfect. My blood sugars, everything, electrolytes, there was nothing, nothing wrong with my blood work. So these low carb diets, when done properly and done the way they're supposed to be, they're actually very healthy for you and I highly recommend it but you have to do it correctly and properly. Anyway, I hope you try this recipe. It's a really good one. And again, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Mike actually has become more of an expert with these breads and, and doing different variations on a theme than, than anyone. They're fun. So, yeah, it's fun. And he's also following the low-carb diet. Even though he doesn't have to, he's doing it. Okay, folks, have a great night. Thank you again. Bye-bye.